so in order for this video to be brief and to the point, I will make the example using Cloudflare, um, but the theory and the approach should apply to any DNS provider. So in the example of Cloudflare, what we want to do is we want to navigate to dash.cloudflare.com, which is where we can log in. From here, uh, we'll select the domain that we want to fix the DNS for, or that we want to point the subdomain, uh, create and point the subdomain for. So in this case, let's go with the one I do have. Here we'll navigate to the section titled DNS. Now that we are at the point of the DNS, we simply want to label our um, subdomain something and point it usually to an A name record, but it could be a C name rec record. It kind of depends on the software you're using, but if you're just pointing to a server sitting somewhere on the internet, as you will in most cases, you'll need an A record. In the name field, you will specify the name for the subdomain. And in our case, we're just going to call it app. Um, the second part is that you are going to specify an IP that this will lead to. Um, so we're just going to use the same IP that we have for everything else. Hit save and you'll see that we store. Um, oh, we actually do want to enable the uh, the proxy for this, sorry. As you can see, it just stores the record as app name and content pointing to that specific IP address. The next thing you want to do is to configure the NGINX or Apache web server on that web server to receive requests on the port that you are looking for. So to be specific, your internet browser only responds to requests on port 80 or port 100 443. These are the two ports for HTTP and HTTPS protocols, respectively. It is not possible to navigate internet traffic using the browser using any other port. What we can do is we can set up our web server to listen for another port and then redirect that to port 80 or port 443 uh, using what's known as a proxy. This is typically done with Nginx. So in the following example, we'll be using Nginx. Now we'll hop over onto the editor where I have some sample code on how that might look. So given this um, server block. This will come along with a whole bunch of other code on your web server. As available as a web server is unavailable for this tutorial, I recommend you look into how a server clause might look or just leave the default only configuring and changing what we're doing in the following example. So for server name, we are going to be changing to app dot and gregerson.dk because that's the subdomain and root domain that we specified and that's the TLD. And so for the location, this just means any residing under uh, this specific address, we will redirect to, and in this case, you could do something like just copying um, the server name, specifying it here. And now this server should serve your content that's listening on port 8080, redirect that using an NGX proxy pass and redirect it to port 80. If you wanted this to listen on port 443 as well, you might need to copy this part or even the entire part and do something similar for that part. Unfortunately, that is out of scope for this tutorial, and I recommend you find an online reading source for it. This was Martin with Education Ecosystem, showing you how to redirect traffic from a subdomain to a specific IP and port. I hope you learned a thing or two, and see you in the next one.